Well, according to prophecy, and according to end time, uh, uh, war, war in prophecy means war or promotion. So we, we are looking for a first war, and then a second war follows after. And then you have a third war, which is the final for the coming of the great Messiah. So, history shows us that the first world war was in 1940. What, what happened? Now? History and prophecy works together. Prophecy is something that something was not being foretold before it happens. And history, when something happens, you record. So prophecy and history works together. Foretell and record. You get it? Do you get it, really? Oh, well, you answer me if you don't answer, I know you, you understand. Anybody can tell me about the second world war, what time will we have second world war? In the war or in the war? Huh? But repeat it. That kind of world war would be this. What did history say? Please, please ask Google. Ask Google. Huh? To when? Much I'm going to be a church for no reason. But you must get in the notebook and record this because 1939, come on, 1939 to, to 45. How many years is that? How many years did Second World War last? From 39 to 45. Are, are you so your voices? 39 to 45? Six years. Six years. And how many years from 1914 to 39? From 1914 to 1939, how much you get from 1914 to uh, how much? 25. 25? Okay. You know, I'm going to that 
Jacob and from Jacob to the twelve sons of Jacob and then the twelve sons of Jacob you have the twelve tribe of Israel and then you have war still going on there with those that were coming from the bad woman that was Agar on the Ishmael called they declared that they were still Abraham's children. So Cold War was going on. War was still in. You know, picking around. But now we are looking now for the what now? The world war now that shall be a time of trouble. You know why it will be a time of trouble? And the message has been a nation. According to Daniel, the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand but the wise. But because of knowledge, men today reach a place that more deadly weapons, more deadly weapons, they can, in this, if it's not the mercy of God, they can wipe out our country. They do not have to uh, go in the year uh, uh, on plane to destroy a country. They can just stay where they are. Russia has that thing. Russia can just stay in Russia and just press a button. And things so all this kind of that men become more wickedly. You understand it? Take for instance, 
We are in the Kachubi here now. We are not saying that God was not around. Because when I was a little boy, people didn't know about God. But would you realize now that the population of God now is further advanced much more than in our days? Come on. And uh, you find that at the end of the day, they find a gun that it was one of the most deadly weapons. I don't believe, not even the police force, they are those type of guns. It was uh, discovered by some police. The war and truth is that, I forget the scripture, you know. Huh? It's gun labeled with wild fear. Yes, you see? So you find that men now, you are more deadly weapon that is now in the land than ever before. Then there was uh, some war. I don't know if it was uh, in between now. Um, in the Middle East, there are some in Germany, or some country. There was some war, and there was stuff that they prepared for the war. And uh, eventually, they, those deadly things that were prepared for the war was thrown into a deep part of the sea. I don't know if you did comprehensive. Right, here is the word. And you find that that area that where those deadly things were, it was some poisonous gas. Anybody in the about it? There was some poisonous gas that where they went out and trekked out into the sea. That part of the sea is dead. Every fish or anything that it did, it killed out everything. It did. All the fishes in the day, everything were made because it was one of the most poisonous gas that they ever had. So just now, the Bible said that knowledge shall increase and men will be going to and fro. So the wickedness, men, men become more wicked than ever before. So that's what it will be a time of trouble. I will not cease every nation. So are we looking for that time to come? Oh, where we are now? Where we are now? Yes, can I, but what? Under Revelation 7 declare, I want to open back the Bible. Open back the Bible, you're going to read it there. And after these days, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four weights of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on the tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seed of the living God, and cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to earth the sea, and to earth, to earth, to earth, and the sea. They her not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have seen the servants of our God in their church, and heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were seals at 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of God were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali were sealed 
12,000. Of the tribe of Anse were still 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were still 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi were still 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were still 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebedee were still 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were still 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were still 12,000. <laughs> And uh, what's going to be done? Go ahead. If you stop there, if you stop there, you're going to leave us out. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude. Okay. Which you know and the number of all nations and kindred and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes and stands in their hands, and cries, and cries by his own voice, say, salvation to our God, which sits at upon the throne, and upon, unto the Lamb. And all the angels round about the throne, and about the elders, and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worship God, say, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bishop, in the finishing of all that, it says, And one of the elders answered, Say unto me, What are these which are arrayed in my robe? And when came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are ten of my brethren. And he said to me, These are they which, which came out of the rich in the nation. And I washed their robes and bathed them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, the Lamb said unto me, Thou art the Lamb of God, which hath taken away the sin of the world. And they before the throne of God and served him death. And shall lead them unto the living fountains of the water. And listen to this part, brethren. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. So you see what went on? The first thing we got, the four angels were at the four corners, east, west, north, south, and were pouring back the wind. That is not the wind, it comes to mean war or commotion. To that blow. And then you find uh, that a hundred and a four, four thousand were being seen coming from the twelve tribe of Israel. What another coming flying in the middle of heaven, having the everlasting gospel. To preach to our nation, kingdom, and people. So you see that? Everything gospel includes our nation. John said he saw uh, a numberless company that were being, amen, sealed out. A numberless company that is in the gospel age that we are also in now. But, um, <laughs> gradually, if you notice that they're nearer to that time. So at this time, the message of truth has to go forth. God will, uh, when he said that the angel families of heaven are in the everlasting gospel, angels are spiritual beings. Make a little lower. We are making a little lower than angels. But in this respect, it's not angels that 
and you've been the ministering servants of God. The message. So right there, the ancient there is not speaking of a spiritual being. It is speaking of ministering servants. His ministering servants are to take them across the world. I cannot go to Russia. I cannot go to all those countries. So I do what I can in my island of God has to raise up ministering servants to spread the gospel way back in China, Korea, Russia too. Although it's not a country, it's not a religious country. That does not give so much freedom to religion. Now, like churches that we do, you have to just hold the faith in your heart, or you can worship underground. But it does not give freedom for religious worship as we do. But however, it ought to reach every nation. Every nation ought to hear the gospel of truth. It doesn't matter what country you are born or whatever you want to hear, but it has to go to our nation. And then as the word go forth and people accept because what they uh, might can declare that the Lord shall go forth from where? But Michael said about the message. Where is it? He said that, all right, you're going to find them. He uh, said that the words is the time will come that the, the house of the Lord shall be on top of the mountain. Look for the scripture. Look, uh, yes, the, the, the house of the Lord shall establish upon the top of the mountain. Then like the last prophet there, uh, and that I said, the Lord shall come past in the latter days, and the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountain. Of course. And shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow to it. Many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, and we shall walk in his path. For out of Zion the Lord shall go forth, Amen. and the word of the Lord in Jerusalem. Amen. We shall judge between many peoples, and rebuke strong nations afar off. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into burning hoops. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. All right, what scripture is that? Please note that chapter and the verse. What prophet declare that? Michael 4 tells us that the Lord will go forth and many, there will be a what? A revival. There will be a spiritual awakening. It doesn't matter what's going on. There will be a spiritual uh, 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 one child was out. So how many child they were being seen there? They were being seen there. It was a black one of the son. Yeah, one of the was the one who uh, was placed in yeah. that yeah. You get it, baby? Because it was really 
per tribe, and from each tribe was 12,000 to make up a hundred and what? So, Pastor was saying that one of the tribe would not be mentioned. So, what tribe is that? Dan. So, so who, who filled the space on the tribe of Dan? Okay. Get out of the way, you know. I don't know this. You know, I get out of wonderful teaching here. Nobody knows that we got them. Okay. So this God has to go for him now. And then now, who to accept? For my, what, what did Jesus say? My sheep hear my voice. And I know them and they follow me. And another voice they will not. So you find that. And as soon as the message go for What is the message? What is the message? What is the faith? What faith? What message is supposed to go? What the word? The angel declared that fear God and give glory on this day. All right? For the hour and give glory on this day. All right? For the hour of the judgment is come. So if you fear God, you are going to accept Him. And if you fear God, you know that He's the one that dies, died for you, and we were born in sin, shaped up in iniquity, then we are going to repent and also be baptized. And also baptism, because if you fear God, what did the wise man declare? Let us come to the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments is the whole truth of mankind. So it's a, I'm asking those that are without the baptism of the Holy Ghost that you see diligently. Is that every single individual will receive? But ask God to help you that you will be the one. Two shall be in the bed, one shall be taken, and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one shall be taken. So ask God to help you to be the one. And if everybody asks God a question, you are able to fall in. So at this time, while the angels are still holding back the way, it's the privilege for each and every one at this time to fall in. For what the Lord of God said, Behold, I said what? Come on, baby, remember it. Behold, I said what? An open door. And no man can shut that door. And when that door is closed, no man can open. Alright? So at this final time that we are in, I'm asking the church that you watch the war carefully. And all the wind is blowing. For any hour is reached to the place that the trouble is real, that's it, all it. Watch the war, watch the television, listen to the news of what is coming a little further. But I, I want to say to the brethren and to myself and to anybody. If anybody is in line, seek for the gifts of the Spirit. Amen. The gifts, there are nine gifts in the Holy Spirit. And especially the gift of healing. And I want to stress on the gift of healing so far. There are lots of brethren that are diabetic. And lots of the brethren have to take medication to live. 
If you do not take medication, you cannot live. Every day you have to be taking medication to keep you alive. You know, we don't know if you are here or not. People that they do not have to take medication, some people that are weak, you have to take medication because if you do not take medication, you're a dead person. Now, if the World War III kicks off, and though we are not in the Middle East, where the war is, it will not fix us even in Turkey. Because the old world because we do not have medicine. All the medicine come from you. All right. Oh, hello. We do not have medicine of our own. So then, in time of war, we won't be able to get any medication. All right, because every country is a country is in problem. Every country is under the stress and the problem of the war. So it will affect us, and you find that lots of people will die because out of many to speak for the power of the Holy Spirit. God can ease us. I went to a funeral. I went to a funeral service and tell the land. And I listened the eulogy of that lady. She was a diabetic person. And yet she was able to go on how many days of fasting. And God survived her. I went to the funeral. I believe my sister Renny, mother, stepmother, sister Renny, mother, and that lady, and she, sister Renny, grandfather, and married to that lady. She believed in scandal. So it was very dangerous because if you do not take medication, you cannot live. And if you want, and let me 